Brave of Power Season 2 has come out to an awful yet justified refuse. Which is sad to see because there are three simple changes that could save the show from being a total disaster, and dare I say, even make it fun to watch. If you're watching this video, I can assume you already know the detail of why the show was made and what it was attempting to do. That is, to replicate the success of The Lord of the Rings in the format of Game of Thrones. However, it's this on paper simple objective which results in the first major problem that absolutely destroys the show. It struggles with what many people on the internet refer to as the prequel problem. Amazon bought the rights to the books and the Peter Jackson films. Yet watching the show, it is very obvious that the previously successful trilogy has been a much bigger inspiration than the books themselves. And from a logical point of view, this would make sense. A show is basically a long film. Fans loved the films, so if you take things from the films and put it in your show, they should also love it, right? Well, maybe the intentions here were good, but we are not the Star Wars community, where a simple reference to a past film will evoke sheer joy in our hearts. What the show constantly does is take previous ideas, scenes, even dialogue that we loved, dab it in some new paint and try to get the same reactions out of us without ever stopping to try and understand why the original was so great. It does really feel like when the writers were sitting in the writer's room, they had the movies playing in the background whilst they noted which scenes to add themselves. Oh my god, they really love these ants. Let's add them. Ooh, Sheila was a big favourite. Let's add her. We have to add the eagle somewhere, right? And let's not forget, oh my god, the Balrog. How could we forget about him? This not only doesn't make the fans like the show, but in fact it makes them dislike it more because it feels so disingenuous. The fix to this is so simple. Just focus on creating your own story with your own cool, unique moments. At this point, they should just avoid anything that even resembles Peter Jackson's trilogy because when they try to copy it, they will always look like a fraud. Yet, if they were their own clear, distinct world, they would get much less criticism. After all, it would still be the Lord of the Rings if you just maintained the key principle, themes and ideas of the universe. Talking of themes, that brings us to major problem number two. Rings of Power keeps trying to put a twist on one of the most important themes from Lord of the Rings. Simple theme of good versus evil. I made a whole video about this in detail during season one, but Amazon is as stubborn as a dwarf and doubled down in season two. The writers keep trying to make the orcs three dimensional entities. We are shown them being scared, wanting to live in peace, and we even get shown a full orc family. Now, in the previous point, I did say that they need to make their own story. And overall, this change of perspective could be interesting. However, it makes it near impossible to enjoy it the way they have framed it, as even in their own story, the orcs are still shown as the bad guys. One scene, they are shown to have feelings, and the next, they want to cut off Galadriel's thumbs because they're just sadistic, I guess. This is very, very confusing, because you don't know how you should feel about the orcs from the constantly changing messages that you get. I think the writers really missed a trick if this is the type of story they wanted to tell. All they had to do is write this show from the perspective of the bad guys. Lord of the Rings is told from a perspective of Frodo and Bilbo, which can explain the certain names, ideas, and even plot holes, as he can be viewed as an unreliable narrator. Now, imagine the Rings of Power is being told from Sauron's perspective, or one of his followers. As silly as it may sound at first, I believe it would have put an interesting twist on the story and even make the show more unique. It would also allow them to have more creative freedom that they very much desire, and I think it would annoy fans a lot less because linking to my first point, it would make the show its own entity. And so, it would be compared to Lord of the Rings much less. 
Also, I, I might be saying this because they made Hellbrand their most interesting character, much more interesting than any of the heroes so far. So maybe take this idea with a pinch of salt. Finally, the third way to prevent Rings of Power from being a disaster is focusing on less plots at the same time. The show keeps jumping between the Elves, the Southlands, not Gandalf, the Numenorians, and the Dwarfs. And these writers just cannot make it work. Everything ends up being so boring. It takes half a season for any one plot to move forward, and it makes it so much harder, so much harder, for us to form any connection with any character. Now, in season one, it sort of made sense because all the plot lines sort of joined at the end. But now, in season two, only the Galadriel, Orc, and Southland's plot appears to be building up to something together. It's safe to say that this jump in between plot lines is only done to try and replicate what Game of Thrones did. However, watching these writers try to attempt the same thing feels like watching a cat trying to bark. It's just not going to happen. So to fix this is simple. Just focus on one plot each season, or at least just dedicate each episode to a specific plot line. To not only make it easier to follow, but to make it more entertaining. Take the Gandalf plot line. Overall, the idea of watching a show about how Gandalf became Gandalf, in my head, sounds fun. Watching him do side quests until he becomes the boss wizard we eventually meet later on. Would this follow the lore? Not necessarily. But it would at least be another entertaining story in a world that I hold so close to my heart. At the end of the day, the lore is not the most important feature after all, in adaptations. Even Peter Jackson made changes. But he made those changes to make the story more entertaining because that's the most important objective of media. And watching this show, I so often catch myself thinking, hey, that, that's a cool idea. I just wish they did it well. So what do you think of the show so far? Is there a chance it can become better? Do you agree that my changes could fix the show in the future? And most importantly, subscribe, you fools. <laughs>